Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. No siree vibe. I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere, Captain. The man's gonna teetotal you drunk and disorderly. There's only one cure. What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. See, he doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see. Uh, a tablespoon of ketchup, some orange juice, half a tin of anchovies, two raw eggs, chili pepper, uh, two teaspoons, a dough chicken stock if you got it, a cough syrup, and a, about a cup of fine whiskey. Everything's just fine and dandy, Captain. Cap, okay, check it out. You know that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. You should check out the brief on the wall map, man. For real. I have not seen his arm, and I would not want him. Hey, Parish Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. You see that loss over there? For Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, it was meaning to get rid of this rose, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to say something romantic, you know, romantic, right? You know, on occasion. Right. Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hunted the rose and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play somewhere. Set the mood. Since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. <laughs> I have had another year, you stupid fucking arm. I will teach you some manners. <laughs> so you saw him storm off toward the hangar. Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. This is actually not bad, honestly. No sense, Shoshana. I mean, what sense does it make to have a key without the lock, huh? Fergus is um Fergus is um no I can't just say that I've seen it. No. I ever feel like everything is hopeless? Ugh! This god ass is supposed to crawl away and die somewhere. George 
went to work on her rope like a garden. Haven't seen Fergus at that. of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat i ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I'm not sure what would have happened. You gotta go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus. God knows what else. your fault you're a rat damn you got balls baby the rat was Dang. the size of your hand can sleep easy now knowing that fucking monster rat ain't coming to claw my eyes out scary shit fucking man. baby where's it going Now listen to this, B. We managed to intercept a transmission detailing all of the construction material they shipped over to planet Venus. Get this. On the list is a fully functional battle walker. They gotta be using it for painting ceilings or some shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? Anyway, you should check out the brief on the war map. Good luck out there, B. Captain, have you time to help out Birgelesa? Kitos, Captain Blaskovici. Stay on the platform. This is a massive ship. Grace told me to organize the storage bay by the moon pool. It's been in shambles since the Ausmerzer attack. But all the fitting entrances are blocked by debris. You can't even get in there. Come with me and clear the entrances. I really don't want to let Grace down. This whole day has been from us. I know you have extra sisu from your ramshackles contraption, so hopefully you can find a way to ram through the debris.
Ivana, Captain Blaskovici. Now I just need to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Crazy will let me build a sauna in here. Regenerative armor, that's awesome. some kind of fight with Maria in Club of Christ House. Burger song? Yes, that's all I know. I ain't seen her, bro. Becca Central. Sorry, buddy. I ain't seen Burger's arm anyway. Didn't even know man's arm was his oven going. I speak to Fergus at party. Both arms were attacked. Okay, here we go. Are you trying to fucking kill me? Well, there you go. Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom! What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over. <laughs> and sisters my brothers and sisters check this out in less than six hours Frau Engel is gonna make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver show live from Hollywood California now while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television we're gonna infiltrate the Ouse Mercer disable the Odin defense system and hijack her ship and then we find that bitch and we take her out what you got Fargoys, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch and we are going to take her Please. out. What? To label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you! I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you dumb idiot? It hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrid. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. <laughs> Expert here, lay it out for us. 
We have to approach fast in law. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Earth's Merzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us.